Hello everyone, myself Ankit Shavare and we are going to the next tutorial session and we are going to design ideal op-amp. So for an ideal op-amp, we need to go to component section and we need a voltage controlled current source, right? So this is a voltage controlled current source, we can have G2, the current is pointing upward but note that G and G2, the difference is on the non-inverting terminal in the top and inverting terminal in the bottom and in G2 we have this inverting terminal in the top and non inverting terminal in the bottom. So we press OK, we take uh, this G2 and we have this. It's a voltage controlled current source, right? So we need to a uh, register, so very small resistance, so of 1 ohm because an ideal of has got Rn is infinity and uh, uh, R0 is uh, lower, right? So, so the, it is a voltage controlled current source, so voltage controlled means the input resistance is infinity and uh, current that is the output okay so r0 is also uh, very high of this control source right but we will we need a output resistance lower so we need a parallel connection here with r1 okay so that uh, the output resistance will be uh, very small right so what for that uh, what we can do is we can place a resistor directly from here and uh, make it here uh, that's it and uh, <coughs> So you right click here and just go to draw. Uh, you just go to draft, draft, then label net, and we want a com, right? We want a com. And what is this com is input, right? So we can name this as uh, V in P, right? This is it looks better, right? So we can just place this V in P here, and we can just place uh, another. Just right click and then draw draft draft and then this label that and then you want a com and that com name is you want this v in m for native terminal and that is the input and then you press ok just bless this here and now also you want a output right so again just draft and this label net and you want this output so v out and that port out type is output so you just want this to place here that's it Okay, and just you can drag also if you want. So you can just go and just drag it a bit. Yeah, it looks. You can just move it up. And just you connect it to the another wire. Yeah, it looks good now. Yeah, good. So this is your uh, idle loop. Amp. Now you, you can have a gain of this. So this is the prefix that this is the instance name G1 and the value that you want is suppose very high 1E6 so 10 to the power of 6 that is the amount of transconductance that we are having right so it's a very high value so so if suppose the difference between these two voltage sources is 1 micro volt so you will get a gain of 10 to the power of 6 okay and 10 to the power of 6 of 1 micro volt difference is 1 volt 1 right so 1 ampere current will it will flow so that is how it works and uh, when I prefer so this uh, I into R drop will be there right so we need a very low resistance in the output for op amp so we make it one ohms right now we can create a symbol of this so for creating the symbol so I go to hierarchy and then uh, first we should save this schematic right so file save as and uh, this is our tutorial number six you can say and we can just mention that it is an open. This is the schematic save. And hierarchy also we can create like create a new symbol. And we just draw lines for that, right? So how hotel open will look like better is this. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So where at this setting middle, then just place it here. Put a escape. So we want a text also. So draw a uh, text so we don't want a minus so we put underscore for that because it looks better then again right click and then draw and again a text so text actually directly you can press t and you can just have text right so i don't need to bother up so then we want again another line for this for showing it up yeah so looks better here and then again a uh, Draw and align. Uh, it looks better now. 
Then, so draw and align is also L directly. So don't draw bother of all these things, right? And uh, so right click, and we can add pin to the left, and the label is here is V and P, and at least order we can have. So we can just label this. Doesn't look good. So just uh, we can have add pin and uh, uh, pin label justification. Okay, so P in P. We won't uh, won't uh, bother that this should be visible to us, right? This pin. So we just put this directly here. This is our V in P, and then again one more pin we want add pin. So this is P in M. This is the atlas order two, so we don't want this to be visible, right? Doesn't look very nice. So again, so P directly you put, and you can have a pin. So we want this V out. That is a pin, and we don't. So vertical text, of course, you put just like right. You want this thing, so and you put okay. So this will be coming up, right? So we don't want this much big text. So it doesn't matter. So we can just have non not visible. So we have this V out. So it depends on what is how you want the three things to look up. So it's not going inside. So just go it, zooming it up. Okay, so it is is my V out. So it's looking a bit distracted. So just I can drag this one. And you uh, can just place it here. Escape and then drag this one. Or just to uh, make it edit it and do. So let it be whatever it is. Okay, it doesn't matter to us, right? So this is how your open will look, right? And you want to save this as so save as and you see this is schematic symbol dot asy. And uh, the name that we have given for this is uh, tutorial six uh, opamp. Okay, we just save it. So this is the symbol for us. So this is a schematic and this is a symbol. So we can go inside this. Uh, so suppose we go inside this. We want to go. You or just you just right click here and uh, edit simulation hair key open this sheet symbol so yeah it's dragging you up right this is a symbol that you have drawn right so just you are going to a schematic this right click and you go to hair key open the sheet symbol and it is dragging you up so it's the correct way that you have drawn now we need to use this opap right so we can design a circuit which uh, uses this opamp's designs so new schematic and uh, we can close all this right we don't need all this now so we can close this now this is the uh, new schematic so we can have a tutorial 7 and uh, this is an ideal open that we are using so uh, we want a simple non inverting or we can say we need a inverting amplifier Using OPAMP, so on dust OPAMP, so save. Okay, so this is drawn. Now we need to call up this uh, OPAMP. So, how will we call it? Uh, we go to again this components and just see this is the two options. So, we can have this LT spy simulations. Yeah, so we are having this tutorial 6 OPAMP. So, just we put place it here. That's it, right? Doesn't matter. Now we want two registers, so we can just have two registers. So, we can have control R rotation just put it here put another register here and uh, again another register in the output right we want that okay we can have a uh, grounds okay so we have this ground here we can have one more ground here and we will apply about this source in the this here right so just uh, uh, what we want is a voltage source. So we go to here and 
just see put up a voltage source you want right so you have voltage here just put it here okay so it's big enough so we need to shift up our ground a bit so we can just move our ground to here we'll make it in the save level so it looks beautiful right so this is our voltage is getting connected to this one this is getting to negative end and so it's a non inverting amplifier so just we need to connect all this looks better right and connect it to amp so some mismatch we are seeing right here yeah, this is this is getting connected to this you understand right so this is an idealized op amp and this is the same this pin so this is just a line that you drawn we have not connected to this output it doesn't matter right so we need to so we should have have a comment section right so label net or we just want to put up a yeah we can just put up with a label that we want so this is our input vin and uh, we just place this label here and uh, we want a label for output so this is our v out and this is it that is the label right and uh, we want some text here so what is the gain you know uh, minus of r2 by r1 that is the gain that you get right but for book if you don't uh, know these things it doesn't matter right so for an inverting amplifier this is the gain that you get so you just put this in a comment section so v out is what minus times r2 by r1 into v in right so we have not put up the values for this so this is the r3 we just take up some value like 10 ohms we are putting up here and uh, suppose we want to gain of uh, say 10 times gain we want so and this is the ideal picture right so it's so the 10 ohms and this is 100 ohms so this is the r2 this is the r1 we can just uh, change this uh, value also right So register one says or ten. Register one says R. What is here now? So this is hundred, right? This is what? This has to be ten ohms. What is this? Oh, this is the register. Sorry. So this is R one. Don't do these more mistakes, right? This doesn't look good. Yeah. And uh, the DC value of this voltage source. Uh, like take it uh, we don't want a very high current right it doesn't look good also so so some 10 times gain we want so a dc value how much will look good 10 times of means 0.1 volt so it will give you a output of 1 volt right it should be like that when you're giving a 0.1 volts you should get output of 1 volt so the current that will flow through this resistor r3 will be what One by ten point one amperes looks good, right? So we need to simulate. So for that we need to set up the this operating point, right? So we can have a operating point. So dot op will look good for a simple DC operating point. We just place it here and just made a run and just let's see what happens. Yeah, something is coming up. so what saying is uh, this is your v out this net v out right this is at minus 1 volt so this has to be the case because this is minus times right so this is my 0.1 volt so this has to be minus 1 correct minus 0.9 so, so this is because the gain of this idle loop is not infinity it is some value but not infinity that is 10 to the power of 6 right so this was is your gain error that you are getting 1 minus 0.9998 absolute value of this v out and this is the voltage of this vn001 probably this is the net vn001 this is the value so current is flowing from here to here right what is the amount of current that is flowing this is the current that is going through this r3 because this current has no other path right so r3 i r3 is what minus 0.01 minus 0.1 0.1 amperes that is what we are expecting right this is suppose 1 volt so this has to be 1 by 10.9 1 by 10 that is 0.1 so This is almost uh, minus point zero nine nine nine, so it's almost minus point one. 
now current we know that it is from i suppose current is going the, from the positive outside then the current is positive otherwise it's negative right that's why you are getting in all the resistors negative current right but you see from the output from the dc voltage source from the positive side the current is going emitted out so that's current is positive so you should understand these concepts this is a spy simulation and you can see also the edit netlist so you suppose you want to see the netlist you can see right so spy analysis sorry in edit and you can see the netlist spice uh, where is comma few spice netlist so this is the netlist right so r1 is connected between v in and n001 net the value of 10 ohms r2 is connected like this way r3 v1 then this is the dots of circuit definition right because this is uh, this is the symbol right so the the sub circuit definition is what total 6 that is op amp that is your sub circuit what are the terminals here v in p v in m and v out three terminals v in m v in p and v out three terminals device the sub circuit definition that how we have defined we know right this suppose we go inside this one you can know how it is right so just go inside this one and uh, open symbol so this is a symbol that we have drawn and right click and then open schematic so this is our schematic right so i suppose we see the netlist spice netlist so yeah this is the sub circuit right so this is vnp terminals g1 that is the gain okay g10 then this are the three terminals four terminals zero v out vnp vnm and the gain is 186 and the resistor is between v out and ground right so this is the sub circuit definition right so you should understand all these things because it it helps you right it helps you a lot because you understand that what is going inside right how this circuit is operating you should understand all these things it matters right so not everything look should as a black box to you you should understand that how spice netlist is coming up right so this is how it is so this is a sub circuit and uh, we can just go again for this spice netlist yeah so this is a sub circuit that we have seen the four terminals that that were there inside this is the r1 and now you see this is the comment so comment sections are just run by star so whatever it was written here is entered as a comment and what we are creating is the dot operating and this is the dot and it has to be there in every netlist so i hope it makes some sense to you right now we can have another tutorial where we can have a non inverting uh, amplifier op amp so just a simple changes are there right so what we can do is we can copy all these things and just make a new tutorial for that so what we can do is file new schematic we want to save this as so this is our tutorial 8 underscore non inverting amplifier and uh, this is using an idle op amp that's it right yeah. looks good yeah so now we can uh, we don't need this you can close this this is not required we can close this yeah tutorial 7 is required because you want to copy all this <laughs> so copy is the greatest invention so just uh, what we can do is we can uh, move this right and it looks very glimpsy and very nice to see yeah so we can move this to tutorial 8 that's it so we have copied right and we just want to close this save changes no we don't want to save changes so i suppose we open now that to tutorial 7 it will be as it is as you are looking right okay so it has gone not for not be so i can just again uh, move this again and uh, should be able to place it here it is has gone right so this should not be the case and what we can do is so you can just control move and then we can just press control v control and v will help okay control v here not doesn't help doesn't help okay caught so we can just select this one then we can file copy is there option little no no copy option is there 
you see control C yeah and uh, just control V yeah it looks now that it can go yeah so the ultimate solution that I have got is uh, you can just uh, you can duplicate it you have duplicated it now you can just uh, move this yeah so this is copy and now you can just move it here that's it yeah so now your tutorial is saved it looks good yeah you don't have to draw again and again and all these things okay so this is a good way so just you have duplicated it and then you have pasted it yeah that's it now we want a non-inverting amplifier this is the inverting amplifier configuration so what we need to do is some cut and paste so we need to cut this cut this cut this one ground we will need and uh, this uh, register will be connected to ground right so we need to cut this one as well now we can do is move move these voltage sources yeah, moved okay and uh, we need to move this voltage source we need to move this okay we have uh, removed that net, net name and uh, we need to move this here move this one to ground that is here okay now just uh, wired up wired up all these things so it is a non inverting amplifier yeah so gain has to be positive now so what is the command you can have is that is one plus r2 by r1 into b that is the gain you get right so okay i need to make some adjustments and that has to be this way looks cool now yeah so same voltage sources and everything 10 times the gain but what it will be 11 times now so this is 1.1 volt and this is your op amp this is your r3 and all these things right so your v in will be now here so we need to draw a label net so this will be no not be com we don't need none so sorry so just go here and we want this v in that's it you just uh, drop it here so this is the wheel and now this is your v out okay and uh, what we can do is operating point is everything is set up so just one yeah looks good right now you can see the gain should be one plus so gain is uh, 11 times 0.1 so that will be approximately what 1.1 so this is your 1.0 triple nine that is almost 1.1 right now the gain is limited because 10 to the power of 6 is the gain so that is how your will not have an exact gain so you will have some dc gain error right and the currents now you can see it's all positive so what it is signifying is u is like the current through all the resistance is positive so it means the current is going in this direction right so from v out to r3 the current is going correct it makes some sense okay so v out and v in are in the same conditions right so this is positive so v out is also positive right it makes some sense so this is uh, how your circuit will work and this is a non inverting amplifier so hope all these things make some sense to you so we will have further tutorial sessions